Hello again everyone, this is Tim Beal for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back today with another iPhone video tutorial. Today's topic is how to use the TV app in iOS 10. The TV application replaced the videos application that was previously on the iOS and is essentially bringing all of your video content into one convenient location. When you first open the application, you'll see your library, which includes all of your purchased TV shows and movies that you've purchased from the iTunes store at some point in time using that Apple ID. If you tap on any of these selections, you'll be able to see the option to download them from your cloud library, just like you would with a song in the Apple Music library. This is a great way to make sure that you have content ready for a road trip or a plane trip, and this way you can quickly download using the cloud icon and get those episodes locally on your device, or before you leave, tap the get more icon so that you can be taken to the iTunes store and make those purchases for additional seasons or episodes that you might need. The same principle goes for movies as well. As I mentioned, these will be available to you at the first page of the application. Tapping the movies category will bring up all of the films that you or your family members have added to your collection, again, using that same Apple ID. Tapping each selection will allow you to again download from the cloud, but you can also get information from the iTunes store about that given film. Tapping on the store icon at the bottom of the app will bring you to the store for other applications that you can use with the television application. These will include HBO Now, Hulu, Stars, and other various applications. At this point though, it does not include the Netflix app, but you can use all of your other subscription-based services, especially if you're a cable viewer, you can also get all these applications right through the television app. And also check out all the different new release content on the iTunes Music Store so you can add further things to your library. And of course, it does support the ability to rent or buy from an iTunes Music Store. The last tab in the application is, of course, the search menu where you can look for anything that you'd like to add to your library. But there you go. That's the TV app in a nutshell, and I hope that you've enjoyed this quick walkthrough. Take care.